So, I'm here, back at 39 De Grey Street. It's been a long time since I've been here. It's been nearly two years since me and Griff last investigated this location. And I've just took a break out of doing a six night um, investigation at 30 East Drive. And Carol, who obviously lives next door to 30 East Drive said, Steve, do you wanna to come to 39 De Grey Street with us? And you're like, you know what? I haven't done it in a long time, so why not? So I'm here with Carol Fildes. Um, so this episode could be pretty interesting. She's brought some objects. Um, she's gonna give some history on what this object is. Um, again, I, I don't know what to expect, um, but I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's always a blast to hang out with Carol. So we're gonna be documenting whatever happens tonight. So hopefully we enjoy the video. And yeah, I'm standing in the the main bedroom where we got some amazing activity in the past. You know, I used to, I, you know, knocked on this wall and things knocked back at me. Absolutely incredible. So, and then we're going to the loft. And this is where I have actually experienced some incredible activity before we joined the Ouija brothers. Well, formed the Ouija brothers. Whoa, man, look at the state of that. Yeah, that window's been closed up. But yeah, we had some pretty good activity in here back in the past. Um, and I'm not talking about, I'm not talking about the rat running at me because there was one instant we was doing a Ouija board and a rat ran. We had no idea at the time, scared the living crap out of me to be honest. But um, is something in this room with us right now? <laughs> What? Whoa, did you hear that? That was running. Yeah, we had, I had actually, we were doing a Ouija board again back in the day and we was asking for some stuff to happen. We was getting good communication and then I just asked if something could happen behind me. And well, if something could happen to me, I should say, sorry. And it was like, yeah, yeah, okay. And then I went freezing behind the back, um, on my back and something was squeezing the lower half of my back. And then before you know it, my shirt got pulled and I was kind of freaking out and I was like, okay, then if that was a spirit, could you let me know? Could you throw something in this room right now? He went to yes and then something got lobbed, thrown into the room. Uh, and he was like, whoa, you know, absolutely crazy. But what made it even more interesting was a few months after that. Remember, we didn't film any of this. This was just a personal experience. A few months later, I was watching a video of this other um, YouTube group called Ult Ultimate Haunted UK. And they had a lady who was standing in the exact place where I was, where I'm right now. And she had the exact same thing happen to her, the squeezing of the back. She explained it the same as me. And that just blew my mind. So. It feels like there's something around the behind me. <laughs> Is that where you go went now? Right? I've just, well, we were just about to ask her to walk forwards because I thought. It's I've like something's book. got hold of my waist, do you know, like how it's so, yeah. Yeah. you can feel something around your waist? Yeah. There's like there's two hands around my hips. It's a bit weird that now. I've, I've come there with the camera and she says it straight away, so. It's like the part of my back where my kidneys are, it's like yeah. something's grabbed it, got hold of it. Can we go more creepy dolls? And then we've got, oh, what the hell? Oh, it's just that camera. It scared the crap out of me, look at this. You'll hear it. Go on. Yeah, there you go. It squeaks. But yeah, here it is, the mirror room. Uh, apparently hands have come out of the mirror again. Believe what you want, take what you want from that. I've never seen or experienced anything like that in my entire career as being a paranormal investigator. But, you know, strange things do happen. This is the old warehouse section. And I've never took my camera in there before, but let's give you guys a little tour of this. It's obviously on the back of the house. God, it feels scary. So this is the house. This is the 39 degree street, obviously. That's near the stairs. And we're inside the old warehouse. Mm -hmm. 
Oh yeah, here we are. Well, this is weird. This is very weird. So if anyone actually go here, here, here we go, guys. This is the demon wardrobe returning back on the Ouija Brothers channel. It's been a long time, nearly two years. So it's a pretty cool wardrobe. It's got a cool design. But this is quite weird because we're obviously in a room. Um, because Andy, the owner of 39 de Grey Street, he's brought a lot of the furniture in, um, furniture in <laughs> a lot of the furniture um, from Sutton Manor, and he's kind of recreating. He's recreating it, isn't he? So he's just recreating the Sutton Manor room um, that's meant to be haunted, and he's got a lot of the furniture. He's brought it all, and he's obviously brought it all into it, and it looks pretty good to be honest. He's doing a lot of hard work. But yeah, very impressive. I think these are the beds as well. I think these have got the gargoyles. Again, this has been a long time. Can you see the, can you see the eyes and stuff? Like there, there's an eye, there's an eye. There's its nose. Really good. If you can hear voices upstairs, it is just, uh, it's just Carol. Oh! We've got a limb. We've got a foot. Oh my god, look at this. What the hell? It's just <laughs> mannequin heads, dolls. Very, very creepy. Oh, here we go. Jesus Christ, this puts the other doll room to shame. Look at this. What in the name of Jesus? Look at this. My God, she's hanging upside down. It's been a long time. She's she's just been KO'd by the door. It's been a long time since I've been here. Um, so this is all brand new. Oh, we've got something up there, a bit controversial. We'll, we'll stay away from the naked dolls. My God, it, it's disgusting. Very, very... I do like it. I'm not going to lie. I do like what he's done with the place um, at the moment. So this is the first time I've actually been in here for a long time. The Sutton Manor's coming along really nice. The new doll room looks cool. The, the, the casket next door. So pretty impressed. Um, I mean, if anything's haunted, you know, that, that's another question, but visuals and style and atmosphere and look so far in this section. Um, yeah, it's great. I mean, well, this is a bit of a mess. I'm not going to shout that, you know. Is there any more? Oh, we've got a head. What's all this? Oh, we've got a broken mirror. Oh, here we go. Here we go. What the hell is this? We've got a nun. Sister Mary. Some creepy scarecrows. I tell you, he's got good um, imagination. You know, I won't come up with a lot of all this stuff, but I am liking it. You know, I am a horror fan. You know, I do, I do rock a Freddy glove, a Chucky doll. I mean, Chucky, Chucky doll, we've got flipping amazing in here. And we've got some crime boys. We've got some disgusting. What the hell is that? Look at him. We've got some disgusting. Dolls, and look at that hairstyle. On a cross. Um, it's just it's just pretty creepy. But I do like the vibe he's going for. What have we got here? Some of the videos. Roy Chubby Brown. Flesh Gordon. No. No, 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 no. I remember this as a kid. Now, this isn't Flash Gordon. This is the porno um, spoof called Flesh Gordon. Oh my god, it's incredible, guys. If none of you haven't seen Flesh Gordon, you've got to go check it out. It is unreal. I think that's the right one, yeah. Flesh Gordon. Flesh Gordon meets the cosmic cheerleaders. I'm positive. That's the, the dirty version. 
it's funny as hell, to be honest. Flesh Gordon too, my god. Keep your panties on, Rebunda. I don't wear panties, but I will if you agree to help. I love this country. All I have to do is pork a few queen, and I'm a hero. I might have to go back and re-watch the Flesh Gordon films because I'm so funny. So hilariously funny. Again, I have no idea what's up here. I tell you, I'm sure these videos just turn into explorers. Most of the time. About a dolly now, I'm just about to say it's almost demonic type of entity. Um, and then another female one, I get a male one, and um, it's not happy. Whatever you're doing, it's not happy because it's roundabout in. In fact, they've just shown me loads of people dead, really? loads of people dead. Um, and it was like they were just put down, and I don't understand that. Just put down the sheets on them. Don't know, it, but, but yes, because they've just said yes. And really? the, um, you can trace that, you can go back on that and have a look. Yeah. Um, I'm seeing lots of people, lots of people. Um, different sizes, different ages. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, sheets over them. Yeah. That is a man that's in that. Well, I won't show it. What can we see? What are we talking about? Always. That's broke out of cabinet. We're in the cupboards, all these doors were shut. What? That's... All these doors there, where they're all facing. This way, this way, the... oh, there's a camera there. I was putting the camera up a lunch we finished on. So we wanted all the dolls facing this way. We'll come in. They've, they've come out the cupboard, they're all in the cupboard. All the doors have been opened. And then this <coughs> has come down and landed on this door and just shattered everything. That's a glass door, is it? And all these dolls have turned around, by themselves, because we had them all facing the this way. What's in the doll, Carol? What's in the doll? Oh, I've said it's a male spirit that's in doll. And he, he's just shown me, as, as he said, some men said mortuary, yeah. and they show me rows of rows of people with um, covers over them, big, small, in between. It looks pretty good, do not it? It's a good shot, like that piece of blackness just over, yeah, the, over the, the door. Yeah, that's the door. Like the frame thing. You know, like the metal. And you didn't know this was like this? No, we came in. Uh, I think yesterday or day before. Broke its way out. Chose what day we now? Chelsea. We won't show if someone has pushed the door out. I think the door we've buried. <laughs> we thought someone else might have pushed the door on to, you know, to get the door. It is. It does. No, I know. Someone's dead. Put them on the table. They were going to bed. What's this here? Is this yours? Kelly straight away, there's Elizabeth, which says what's, what's in the box, and it said Elizabeth. There's a box inside that I've had to, because it smells. Yeah, it's that sense of can reach And I've had to reseal it. Yeah, I'm feeling sick as a configure. And this is the box you brought from your house? Yeah. Do not even attempt to open it, please. It's washing her now, and I That's it. Oh, I asked what were in it, it said check. Okay, too, all right. It's been going off while you've been outside and you've been upstairs. Well, it's attached to this box. Well, going home at K2, innit? It's not the camera. No, the camera no, it's not the camera. So, what's the history on the box, Carol? I'll just um, a quick brief history lesson. The, on the it. brief history is I'm giving no names because I promised them I wouldn't. <coughs> but we have a lot of followers and we have a lot of people wa watch what we do. <coughs> I'm sorry for coughing, but I'm feeling really sick. And a few months ago, I, I was contacted privately on Facebook um, telling me that they'd got this box. They'd, they'd lived in this old house um, quite a while. And they, they went up in attic and started clearing stuff out. And they found a little box. Um, it, it was sealed. Not with white candle. It, it was sealed with red and black candle. Um, and, and they really thought, yeah, come on, it's it's note. So the husband opened it. Within weeks, 
the four-year-old daughter got killed in a road accident. That's why I can't, because this is not years and years ago. It, you know, I, I, I promised I wouldn't give names. I can only tell you she was four. And not so long after that, the husband who actually opened the first box became critically ill. He was in intensive care. He weren't expected to live. So his, his family traced the people that lived in the house before him. And we also, they, they found out that that just tell me to wash? Wash, eh? So look. I've had a wish. Cheeky <laughs> um. <laughs> cat. Yeah. You was wiping your face, <laughs> can't we, with your, your anchor? So well, we wash. <laughs> it, it turned out that quite a long time ago, yeah. these people that owned the house, either previously or before that, um, they actually put this box up there. There was into things they shouldn't have been in. So I'm, I'm not gonna um, go into details about that. But all I can say is that inside this box is another box that smells not very nice. Imagine pee and crap and sick. Look at them going off. There's also a child's tooth in there. Is that from the four-year-old, do you believe? It's from one of the children. I didn't ask which. Because where they met me, the, you know, the, the, the sort of, here you are, we're off. Um, but th there is a child's tooth in, there is other things in there. There is something made with human hair in it. And because I felt sorry for them, I accepted it. You can hear. You can hear the things inside. That is, I will say, teeth and some other things. That's as far as I will go with it. I only fetched the box tonight because I trust Steve, and I fetched it just to see if we he picked anything up. Well, there you. That, that for me is proof that there's yeah. something not right. It's Elizabeth I'm, and I'm the ritual. So I went. Is Elizabeth in the box? And that's when it came up with check. I went, no thanks. Don't check. <laughs> and I have no internet on this, so it's not my phone. Right, guys, I've just gone to get um, my K2 meter. And as soon as I've walked into this, into the living room, it is going just as crazy. Fresh battery. That's two total, that's two. Yeah. That's obviously just to indicate that it's they both going off. Yeah, both maxing out. Um, Strength. So it's getting stronger. Oh, sorry. Jack. Take, take the box out of the room. Let's see. How's it wrong? What did Jack what? It just said Jack, Elizabeth, and uh, Rebecca. Rebecca's my daughter. Jack Russell. We can almost stop now. Look. Um, it's yeah. better on two, three. They're not going as loud. I'm just leaving no. another. It's like there was a surge in it. They've nearly stopped. Yeah, it's like, it's like there, was just, there was a surge of energy going through, weren't there? Fetch it back, see what happens, Russ. Make sure you wish your hands, Russ. Russ, and I mean that. You're starting up again, look. Earthen. What's it say, Carol? Earthen. Or earthen, whatever you say. Now look at that, you're not telling me in that box. I want to rip the box open. Yeah, I know you do, but I'm not going to allow you to do it. I know, I know. The thing is, it was gifted to me and I've got to live with that. Exactly, I know. Okay, so the REM pods just started to go off again now. Um, these literally, these two K2s um, were both going off um, together, perfect. Which is very weird. I mean, look at it now, it's just totally dead. So if you have something in the area, then, you know, it, it, it could go. Can we use the energy and let that rem, touch that REM pod again? Put them synced up.
Jesus Christ. Come on. Mm. Use that energy and light, 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 light up the vent pod again. Can somebody change this green light? Make that green light go a different colour. Light them all up if you want me to open. I'm not gonna, but do you want me to open this up? Do you want releasing? Come on, light up. There you go. There you go. What now, thanks? What the hell's going on? Mm. See, that's not supposed to come on this stuff. There's nothing underneath the table. Yeah, that's when we're doing the table thing. It was moving all at the table. So there's nothing under the table, people. And there's a wire there. But that wire's, I think it's for that, uh, them centre lights, security lights. Yeah. yeah. Put lights in that, aren't But that's not giving it off like it was table. It's like as soon as it's just this table. We have put these devices next to it. Um, that wasn't, that hasn't gone off, but this one has. Well, may that may that noise on that green light again. Come use that energy and make that noise and that green light again. Yeah. That's pretty interesting, actually. That K2 was going nuts. It was going absolutely crazy next to the box. Um, it was going crazy before Carol came in. He was going crazy when Carol was there. Really, really weird. I don't know. I don't really know what to make of it. I wish I could crack that box open so I could see what was inside. But um, very interesting. Anyway, I'm going to do a bit of work here on my own. Um, can I close this door? It's as good as I can get. Anyway, I want to recreate these noises that I've had before in the past when I've knocked on this wall and it's something to knock back. Um, it's fascinated me for years, to be honest. It's done it multiple times, so we're going to see if we can do something like that again. So, the spirit of this house, 39 to Great Street. My name is Stephen. I've returned after many years of not, of not coming here. And I'd be so grateful if you could knock back on the wall like, I've, like I have had many times before that you've done for me. So I'm gonna knock this wall twice. Could you please knock back, Spirit? Because we wanna show the world again just how insane it is. So I'm gonna knock this wall. Now remember people, this is the far room. There's actually no building next to, like on this other side, there's no one there. It's basically empty and this leads into the doll room. So I'm gonna knock this wall. Can you please knock back? Nothing, nothing here. Just copy me. So as you can see, it's not reacting, it's not doing anything. Don't even know what to say, I don't know what to do. Copy me. It's not doing it. It has happened in the past. I've done a little explore of the building. We've recorded with uh, Carol downstairs. The, I do like that warehouse, you know, a lot of good little things in there. That doll that's apparently smashed out of the, the cabinet and hiding underneath that black, um, I don't know what you call it actually, like a piece of black wood. I'm gonna go back over there, I've got to, I've got to investigate it because if that's paranormal and it's, and it's broken out, you know, these are the things I wanna see, you know. So I'm gonna go over, you know, I have investigated this building um, quite a few times, you know, there's quite a few videos up on our channel. So I do wanna go over there and try this new section out. And if possible, we'll record some Carol and see if she can pick up on anything inside this building. So I'm gonna go over to the, to the warehouse. 
Let's see what we can do. I thought someone was following me up then. Let's see if we can do anything with that cursed doll that has, oh God, no. Jesus Christ, and he fell straight down. Let's see if we can do anything with the doll that's broken free. I'll tell you now, if it's moved right now, that'd be great. Look at this. Here she is. What has happened here? So as you can see, that's actually connected where the mirror was and it's just come straight down. It's killed this doll. It's tried to decapitate her. That's vile. Look at that. What is going on? Anyway, I'm out of breath. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Hello spirits. Is there anyone here? Could you come forward, spirits? That's attached to the doll. Okay, so what? Now, did Carol say? Oh, yeah, the, the, the buff going off. Spirits, if you're around, whoever caused obvious damage. Oh, one minute. On the door. Hmm. Whoever caused obvious damage, do you want to come forward near these lights? You're not going to get told off. We're just interested to know what happened. If you come near the lights, we'll light up. Alright, they're them going. Look. Yeah, I did see. Was that one always on the floor as well? No, that was inside as well. So that's so that's just chilling, sitting down. Yeah, uh -huh. that's a way for because if it had fallen out, it'd have fallen, it'd have fallen onto its front. What the fuck's that? Oh, no, that, that could have been me. Okay, <laughs> just hearing knocking all of a sudden on the wall. Jesus Christ! Money. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly crapped it. <laughs> so yeah, that was that was inside the cabinet as well, and yeah. then it was just sitting there chilling. Yeah. We got this one murdered. <laughs> and what happened to this one? Was that in there as that well? Was, so if that's how, yeah, that was inside. So that's yeah. fallen as you'd expect it to, isn't it? Yeah. On its front. But that one just seemed to like walked out and just sat down, but look at it. Well, look at the arm. Just resting, chilling. Yeah, no, that's weird. If you move these dolls, could you give us a sign? Could you knock on the wall, please? Or even light up these devices on the floor. It's weird, see, actually, it looks like you know, like a proper murder scene. Don't it? it really does. Uh -huh. All we need now is blood. Uh -huh. <laughs> Could you open the eyes, please? Come on, please, spirit, just open up the eyes. I'm some weird, seeing some weird crap on here, but I K2s both went together then. Yeah. The K2s are going off around you, people. I'm just focusing on the eyes just to see if they will actually open. Because that would be amazing evidence. They are quite actually, they are quite heavy, so, well, they're not too heavy. But the one just like flutter open easily. So is this, a, is this a real coffin? Yeah, it moves in another Undertaker for about eight years, yeah. Well, they're just like kind of stored the dead bodies here. Yeah, uh, yeah, they use it as, um, you know when people have wicker coffins and cardboard coffins? Yeah. But obviously we don't want to display the bodies in them as well, the relatives come, so they use this as a dis for displaying bodies. Yeah. And then when the funeral came, they took the body out and put it into a, like a cardboard or a wicker coffin. Yeah, because you... So this is like, tons of different 
in like dead bodies in. people in there. Inside, you can, it's got a lot of like fluid stains and stuff. Really? Like oh, let's have a look at this. <coughs> Like all here? Yeah, all of those like bodily stones and stuff, yeah. Many people got into this? Yeah, quite a few, yeah. Morbid, aren't they? It's going to a coffin. We've half an hour in it. And then he was struggling to, he was running out of oxygen, so it to come out. You should have sealed it up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's good though. I don't know if I'd fit in those, I'm like six foot. No, I always use that SQ, so I'm telling you. One spirit, come knock back. And he's just told us some amazing stories. It's okay, it's okay. Let the camera catch that. Yeah, so it is, they are going off. So you are connected to this coffin. If you are, could you light them up again, please? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, flipping out three of them. That's just about command that as well. Now I know people, you haven't seen K2s on the channel for a while, but um, we are going to try and start bringing the equipment back. You know, we're still sceptical over it, you know, don't get me wrong. But, you know, it's worth a shot just to see if we can get anything. And this is quite interesting, you know, all three of them yeah. on top of the coffin. You know, there's nothing really to it. So why, so why are they going off? If that's a spirit trying to communicate with us, focus all your energy and make it go to red. If possible, you can use mine and Andy's energy. We're not here to harm you or hurt you. But if you are connected to this coffin, give us a sign, please. P make it all go to red. Stomach. Oh. Look at that, three of them. I had a squeak. Like a creep type thing. You kept hearing it coming upstairs. We kept hearing a squeak. Okay, I think it's that it. camera. Is it? Yeah, it's that camera rotating. You know, I don't do it here. Scared the crap out of me. But you know what? I'm going to sit down and I'm going to take the piss out of you. We're waiting. Come on, Walter. Go drag the little bastards out. Sorry for swearing, people. Not really. Come on. Do your worst. <laughs> Once. I'm going to it once. Body to tell Steve that. Somebody trying to talk to you, Carol. Mary's coming. Oh, Mary. It's good to see you. Just to say hello. To hello. Oh, 
Hans kommende. Hans okay. He didn't understand a lot of it before he died. Didn't even know he was dying. Only for a long time, he said. Whether his wife is round you. Thanking you for all help. Look after mum. Go oh, fucking cancer, but I'm all right now. <laughs> I visit the often, don't worry about it. There you go, we just finished a little section in the mirror room. Uh, Carol looked like she was, you know, she was saying some weird things and stuff like that. Um, what we're going to do now is we are going to go downstairs and we're going to put all their hands on the table. I'll record it, I'll film it. Because apparently last time when all these people were here doing an investigation, they actually got the table to rise up and lift and everything. And I would love to see that. I'd love. It's a heavy table, um, but it's the table where we've got the the kind of Dibbuck box there. I don't think it's in a, a Dibbuck box, but it's kind of the same kind of thing. But I don't think it's got that title. Um, and it, it was all the stuff where all the K2 stuff, which is going nuts. So we're going to do a section in there and see if this table can rise. Um, it's been an interesting night. I've enjoyed it. You know, let us know down in the comments what you think of the video so far. Um, like I say, I'm just documenting everything that's kind of going on for me i haven't seen anything you know i haven't seen anything like nothing's knocked back on me but um or anything thrown we've had some amazing k2 responses um you know on top of the coffee and near that box and even in the sutter manor room so it's been interesting but for me nothing solid you know paranormal activity that you know i want to see um but i know this place can deliver because i have experienced it here um before so I know this place can deliver anyway let's go downstairs and see what we can capture on the table <laughs> You guys, so I think that's going to be it. That's going to wrap up uh, the investigation. Um, it's been fun hanging out with Carol and the East Drive paranormal team. It's been good to meet Andy again from 39 Degray Street, and yeah, I enjoyed it. You know, I love the tour, love going round. We didn't capture too much, unfortunately. Um, some interesting things on the K2, but always a blast. And now I'm actually going to head out and do another two nights at uh, 30 East Drive um, for another five hours so I'm going to be absolutely knackered and tired but it's all fun um, if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing if you enjoyed the video leave a like check the links for the merchandise if you want to become a channel member join the Ouija family or the Ouija legends club to get exclusive access footage and extended footage and all that other good stuff Anyway, I'm out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy. I'll see you on the next video.